and welcome to the channel. I've been wanting to build a better workstation for working on the barrels. I've had this aluminum framework sitting in my shed for about the last five years and I couldn't really think of anything to do with it. Now I've got an idea. I'm gonna build a dual station, one for working on the barrels horizontal and one for working on them vertically. I've got a bunch of components that came with it and I bought some more fasteners and casters to put on the bottom and let's have at it. I'll show you what I did. Most of the ends are already tapped, uh, but brush cuts look like this. And for some reason, that one in the corner isn't tapped. So this is M8 by 125. So we have to look at our drill. M8 125 is 6.7 millimeters or equivalent is the letter H. Fortunate enough, these plates already have tapped holes for where I'm going to put the casters. I'm just going to remove the parts that I don't really need, like the linear rails. Okay, so I need to countersink the four middle holes so that I can mount the wheels on top and then I need to drill and tap four holes so I can mount the wheels. Now, if you look closely in the background, you can see I found a use for the linear rails, building a sled, and on top of that, I'm gonna build the vertical rotary station. Here, I'm using a little trick with paper. It makes sure I have enough clearance uh, once this whole thing is assembled while it's clamped in place. This is the rotary bearing I'm gonna be using for the turntable. It's actually rated for a thousand pounds, which is way overkill, but it was only 20 bucks on McMaster car. I can leave a link in the description if you guys want one.
All right, well, that's pretty much it. Here we'll take a little tour. There's the horizontal rotary station, linear rail, slide, vertical rotary table. And on the bottom, I've got four casters, same as the ones for the horizontal table. The ones on the end are lockable so that it stays stationary. And I've got two lockable on this one as well. Stops for the rail so the slide can't over travel. And that's about it. And done. Let me show you how it works.